Welcome everyone to the first episode of our new series, Hearthstone 101, a series where we go as in-depth into a single card as we can get. My name is Wolfie, for Here Be 3, let's get started. With the new Journey to Ungaro set coming out soon, and the retirement of a lot of current cards, I felt it to be a good time to talk about one of my favorite cards, Sylvanas Windrunner. Sylvanas is a 6 mana 5-5 which falls one mana short of baseline stats, but makes up for it by having an amazing effect. Death Rattle. Randomly take control of an opponent's minion. This effect is an homage to her abilities in the original Warcraft games, where she could possess others with her Banshee powers. Her flavor text is, Sylvanas was turned into the Banshee Queen by Arthas, but he probably should have just killed her because it pissed her off. This rings back to her Warcraft lore, where the traitor Arthas enslaved her and made her do his bidding, until she regained control of her body and fought back, ultimately attempting to destroy him after Arthas became the Lich King sitting atop his frozen throne. Sylvanas' sister is Illyria Windrunner, our current alternate hero for the Hunter class, but for some reason they're not on talking terms right now. Sylvanas shares her control ability with a few other cards as of now, including Mind Control, Mind Control Tech, Potion of Madness, and Shadow Madness. Sylvanas' effect is a death rattle, so it can be activated and resolved in a lot of different unique ways. Unlike Battle Cries, death rattles can activate with certain combos that are in place in the game. For example, you can use Barnes to get a 1-1 copy of Sylvanas, along with Herald Volage and Shadowcaster, and use a Faceless Manipulator to copy Sylvanas, as well as killing your Sylvanas on purpose to steal certain minions. Power Overwhelming, Naturalize, Shadow Flame, and Moat Lurker all have certain upsides for killing your own Sylvanas card. There are certain interactions that equal to unique results when it comes to this card. For example, having a Sylvanas on each side of the board as both of their effects activate will lead to the one who played first activating first and then the second Sylvanas activating after that. Using Brawl while there is a Sylvanas on the board will equal the winning creature being on whichever side has Sylvanas no matter what. Princess Haruran, her, her, fuck. Princess Huhuran and the new Hunter Ungaro card Terror Scale Stalker work amazingly with Sylvanas since they will let you trigger her effect twice. Unearth Raptor and Brand Bronzebeard combos can also lead to double stealing effects. Some other combos to think about would be to bring her back from the dead. Paladins can pull this off with the Redemption Secret, which just takes a lot of careful play since the secret can't trigger on your own turn. Priests can also bring minions back from the grave with cards like Resurrect and Onyx Bishop. The main counters for Sylvanas include flooding the board with minions so that your more valuable minions can survive the steal. You can also use cards like Bomb Squad to single-handedly deal with Sylvanas while letting her effect activate and giving the opponent a liability on their side of the board. The most effective way to dealing with Sylvanas would be to use cards that remove her from the board without destroying her. Polymorph, Potion of Polymorph, Polymorph Boar, Hex, Devolve, and Tink Master Overspark can deal with Sylvanas themselves while cards like Sap, Vanish, and Kidnapper can return Sylvanas back to the hand, momentarily dealing with the problem. With the new Ungaro set coming out, certain cards are retiring to the wild format. Sylvanas will be leaving Standard and entering the Hall of Fame. And for my favorite legendary, not to mention that my first legendary was a Golden Sylvanas, we will definitely make wild more interesting, especially with the new combo pieces like Spirit Echo and Spirit Singer Umbra. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Hearthstone 101. Don't forget to comment if I forgot something and like subscribe to here be three and we'll see about making more episodes for now thank you for watching goodbye viewers